They say little piracy catchy. CO6 nigga come catch me. I get out like I'm messy. I swear I was too messy. What's up guys? In today's video, I have a brand new mobile tutorial for all of you guys. And this one is going to be a really highly requested tutorial. And it's basically just on a very simple warp transition inside the app Alight Motion. A warp transition is basically the most commonly used transition for almost all highlight editors, including, including the most famous ones such as Yarn, Nummy, Excel, and much, much more. A warp transition is basically just a really smooth and fast paced transition from one clip where it zooms from the first clip to the second clip. And it's really, really fast paced and goes well with almost all highlight edits. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do it in the app Light Motion, of course. In a Light Motion, I believe, is the easiest way to do this. A lot of mobile editors decide to make their impacts and buildups in other apps like Bloomy Fusion and Video Leap, and then they transition their clip over to a Light Motion to make the warp transition because it's the easiest and simplest and fastest way to do so. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do that, and I'm really excited to, so let's get straight into it. Alright guys, right before we get into the actual tutorial, I have a quick shout out for ClickTag. And you can find them on Twitter at ClickTag LLC. It is a really, really cool new page made by one of my friends, Zen Dom, and it's basically just about animation pop-ups like this for Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, all that good stuff. And you guys can go to this go to this Twitter page and DM them, and you buy some of their pop-ups for super cheap, and I would highly recommend them. I personally bought them myself, and they're really, really clean and simple to use. You just plop them onto your video, and it's really, really quick promotion that looks really, really nice and can really help you grow your socials. I'd really highly recommend checking these guys out. First thing in the description, check them out. I really, really suggest you guys do this. They're an awesome, underrated, new pop-up animation makers, and I highly recommend checking them out. So now, let's get straight into the tutorial. All right, guys, and now for our warp transition tutorial inside of Light Motion, I'm gonna be in the app Light Motion, of course, and I'm gonna go to the Projects tab, and I'm simply gonna open up my project. This, this, For this tutorial, guys, I already made a project by myself, and it just has two clips together that are already synced and also synced to the transition, which I've not added yet. Here's what it looks like so far. As you guys can see, two synced clips, and it's also synced to the transition beat. Transition beat, which is in this song is going to be a clap beat right after the main beat. So here, if as you guys see here, if you guys hear a clap in the song, and I'll immediately switch to the next clip. And guys, that's how you sync your transitions. If you guys didn't know that, just sync it to the clap beat directly following the kill beat. So now, as you guys see, we have two different clips, one on the first half and one on the second half, and this is where we're going to be transitioning it into the second clip. So we're going to be doing the first clip first, obviously. We're going to be clicking on it, go to effects, and we're going to add one effect right now, and it's going to be motion blur. This is all we're going to need right now. And then for the second clip, or right, guys, make sure in motion blur you change it so that um, you can leave the settings here, but if you guys want more motion blur, just make sure to turn it up, but I'd recommend keeping it at one or even lowering it if you guys want to. So go back out, go back into effects, add effect, and then we're going to type in tiles. Tiles is used in almost every transition slash shake, anything like that. It really helps you guys add that extra um, tiles in the end so it don't, you don't have black bars or transitions, which is what you do not want. So just add mirror, tiles, and then you're good to go from here. Now what we're going to do just zoom in to the timeline, click on it, go to move and transform, and you have to make sure on the last possible frame, you go, go to the first option, press the keyframe, and go to the third option and add a keyframe. This is the transform option from move and also scale. And as you guys see on the playhead, we are at 7 seconds and 49. So just, now we're going to go back 6 frames. So we're going to go to 7 seconds 46, or 43, excuse me. And then we're going to add a keyframe for both of these again. Now that we've added a keyframe 6 frames apart, we're going to go to the second keyframe. Since, this, of course, this is the first clip, just go over it. And what we're going to do... Actually, we're going to hide this second layer so we can still see the bottom one. I'll move and transform. So zoom in and go to this clip. If you guys can't see it, just move the keyframe a little bit to the left. So we're going to go here, and then we're going to go back and remove these other ones since we can't actually see them. And we're going to go onto here. And what we're going to do, since this is the first clip, we're actually going to go to the third option and scroll to the left. This is actually going to zoom in out, and this is what we want. And from here, guys, we're going to choose what direction we want our transition to go in. You can go either top right top left, bottom right, or bottom left. And for the sake of this tutorial, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to do a very basic to the bottom left. Just move this to the bottom left so that it lines up almost like that. You guys can scale it down a little bit more if you want, of course. So scale it down and move it all the way to the bottom left. This is what it's going to be for the first clip, and let's transition on to the second clip now. So we're going to open up this layer back up. We're going to go to Effects, add the same exact effects. So we're going to choose Tiles, which is right here for me. We're going to press mirror tiles, 
We're gonna go back into it, effects, add effect, and then we're gonna, this time we're gonna choose motion blur once again. So once you guys add motion blur, of course I'm gonna add the default settings and leave it at that. Let's go back into motion, add a keyframe for both move as well as scale. Six frames forward, so we're gonna get to 52, or 54. Sorry, I keep doing wrong math here. We're gonna add a 54. And of course, since we're on the sync clip now, we're gonna be editing the first keyframe. So it moves from, from the distorted place to the regular place. But as you guys see here, we went to the bottom left. So this time we're gonna be going from the top right just because it's the opposite and that's how it works. It's a little bit confusing, but trust me, you guys will figure it out. So of course, this time we're gonna scale it up. The opposite of, we're gonna do basically everything the opposite of what we did before. That should run good. Now go to the move and just move it. So it's mainly focused on the top right. So that mini map up there is like mainly the main focus of the screen. So that is around good. Let's see how this looks like now. It might be a little bit laggy, but let's see the playback. So it is a little bit laggy, but this is probably what you guys saw in the intro. And as you guys saw, it's a super, super clean and simple warp transition. Of course, guys, if you guys want to do this on the rest of your clips, just go into effects. You guys can copy this. And then you can go into move and transform and just replicate the same keyframes. And of course, guys, I showed you guys how to do it to the bottom left. Let me hide this literally quick. If you guys want to do it to a different place, like the top right, just go to move and transform, go to the second keyframe of the first clip, of course, and just move this to the top right. We're just going to move that like this. So it's the same exact thing. So it's lined up. Now we're going to go to the second clip. So unhide the layer, move and transform. First option, first keyframe, and just move this to the exact opposite. And of course, since we went to the top right, we're gonna go to the bottom left this time. So just make sure the bottom left is like the main focus point of the screen. As you guys see the health bar right there. So now this should be good. So let's see if their playback here works. So yes, guys, very, very simple warp transition that looks pretty clean. I would highly recommend doing a transition like this. It's really, really simple. It's what almost all highlight editors use at this point. So I highly recommend these, and I really hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and really enjoyed it. Just hope you guys come control. back in future tutorials and hope to see you guys later. Truly, yeah, I think my life is a movie. I'm about to they all trying to show me. But it's all Gucci. Flex my inside, he's a groupie. My life got me feeling like I troll me. Truly, yeah, I think my life is a movie. I'm about to they all trying to show me. But it's all Gucci.